This video is a full inventory and documentation of my current everyday jewelry collection. As I continue to progress with minimalism, finding my style, and the acquisition of fewer yet nicer things, I think it will be cool to look back on this in the future and see where I was and how my style and lifestyle has changed over time. Here in this video, we have all of my everyday jewelry. I keep my jewelry in this little case. It's lined with an anti-tarnish lining, which I fervently recommend for when you're storing jewelry that's prone to tarnishing, like sterling silver and vermeil jewelry. Let's break this video up by metal color. Here are the white metals. First up, my only watch. It's a Cartier stainless steel tank francais. It has a date window and a quartz movement. It's the midsize at around 30 millimeters, and it has a hidden dual deployment clasp in the bracelet. Next up is a Return to Tiffany heart double chain bracelet with one large chain and a smaller accent chain for an asymmetrical look. This is a sterling silver bead bracelet from Tiffany, which is now part of their hardware collection. I believe this is the 10 millimeter sized bead. I love that they are strung on a chain. Next is a Tiffany Sterling Silver double chain heart necklace, which completely fulfills my childhood 2000s Legally Blonde Elle Woods fantasy. And this ring is an open wrap or a bypass style with two tiny tapered baguettes in white gold. And these earrings are a three diamond cluster style or clover style in white gold. On to pink metals. This bracelet was an Etsy purchase. It's a rose gold square wire cuff bracelet. And it reminds me of the Tiffany T collection. And this ring is a pipe cut style wide band in a rose gold. And here is a rose gold solitaire diamond station necklace. It's a new old cut cushion, meaning it's modeled after old faceting patterns, but cut ideally in a fancy light yellow color grade. It has a very strong UV fluorescence, which can be undesirable in certain cases and to some people, but I find it fascinating. And onto the largest category, which is yellow metal. And here is a vintage chunky gold chain choker to which I added a gold heart safety pin as the closure. And I can double it up and wear it as a bracelet. I could also wear the safety pin as an earring on its own. And this necklace is an 18 karat gold Paloma Picasso palm pendant from Tiffany. And this necklace is an Elsa Peretti bean necklace. I believe this is the 9mm size bean. I had the chain shortened to 15 inches. And this is a half moon diamond pendant necklace. The diamond was repurposed from an art deco piece. It is in its original platinum bezel with a yellow gold chain added to it. And the diamond is a chunkier, older type cut with a large keylet. Here is a ring that was made from that chunky rope chain we saw earlier. And these are two little bands that I wear as pinky rings. Next is a very thin yellow gold band I usually use as part of a ring stack. This is a tiny yellow gold ball stud and from Bray, which was formerly Bray and Oro before they repositioned themselves, are these tiny yellow gold huggy hoops. And that's all. That's my everyday jewelry collection. Thanks for hanging out with me and I hope to see you again soon.